The enemy ships were sighted coming out of the Baltic. Obviously heading out to sea. Obviously not in the service of the king. Now, what have we got over here at Scartha Flow? Battleships King George V, Prince of Wales, Battlecruiser Hood, and a few cruisers and destroyers. The rest of the fleet's out on convoy escort. Excuse me, sir. It's from Admiral Cunningham, sir. Situation in Crete is deteriorating. German airborne troops have captured Malamy Airfield. Why is it we never get our bad medicine in small doses? Perfect timing for an enemy breakout in the North Atlantic. Cunningham and his fleet busy down here in Crete. Somerville's got his hands full trying to reinforce Malta with Force H. Scharnhorst and Neisner up here at Brest ready to come out again, so we must keep them covered. And 16 convoys to guard scattered all over the Atlantic. If we had a hundred more ships, we still wouldn't have enough. Sir, we've just had a signal from our agent in Norway. The message is incomplete. Sighted two enemy ships off Christian Sand at 0335, sailing due west. Cruiser Prince Eugen and transmission stopped abruptly at that point, sir. Did you try to get him back? Yes, sir. No further contact. Where is Christian Sand? Off here, sir. Southern tip of Norway. What do you think, ACNS? I don't think this man would have transmitted in the circumstances if it hadn't been something really important. Then we'll proceed on the assumption that it's Bismarck. May I suggest, sir, we put Coastal Command to work on air reconnaissance? By all means. Everything from Bergen southwards. Tell them to photograph everything that looks suspicious. I'll talk to Commander-in-Chief at Scarpa Flow. Aye, aye, sir. Excuse me, sir. First sea lord in the line, sir. Commander-in-Chief, sir. Hello, Jack. How are you? I'm fine. Those two German ships were sighted off southern Norway at 0335. One is the Prince Eugen, and we're not sure about the other. Do you think it's... I suggest you proceed on the worst possible assumption that it's Bismarck and she's trying to break out. All right. I may be wrong, but I can't think of anything worse at the moment. Yes, I quite agree, sir. We can't afford to let that ship get loose in the Atlantic. I'll come to immediate notice for steam, sir. All right. Goodbye. We're directed to assume that it's Bismarck accompanied by Prince Eugen. And they're attempting to break out into the convoy lanes. Now, gentlemen, they'd have four available passages, wouldn't they? There's the Denmark Strait, the passage south of Iceland, the Faroe Shetland Passage, and the Fair Island Channel between the Orkneys and the Shetlands. Anyone care to place a bet? What about the Iceland Faroe Channel, sir? Not too near our bases and plenty of room for manoeuvre. Well, why wouldn't you take the nearest exit? Fair Island Channel's only a few hundred miles. Oh, much too close to our air patrol. Well, of no help to me, gentlemen. All you're saying is that it could be any one of the four. Actually, of course, you're perfectly right. I'm afraid, somehow or other, we've got to guard them all. Have we any idea where they are now, sir? Nothing definite. Jenkins, <clears throat> check with Coastal Command that they're still carrying out a search. Aye, aye, sir. Alter course to 190. Starboard 15. Starboard 15, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Bloody fool. Ship bearing green, 4-5. Two ships bearing green, 4-5. Hard port, full ahead both. Hard port. Pull ahead, both, sir. Shall we follow them, sir? Steady on, 130. <laughs> Steady on, 130. Yeoman, sir. Mick to Admiralty. Bismarck and cruiser sighted. Course south. My position. Give latitude and longitude. Get that off immediately, in case we run into trouble. Aye, aye, sir. Check radar. Check your radar, Blob. Enemy report from Suffolk, sir. They found her. Picked her up in the Denmark Strait. Bismarck and a heavy cruiser. 
6645 North, 26 West. There, yeah, gentlemen. Course southwest. Now things are looking up. Tell the first sea lord immediately. Aye, sir. Good job we've got some heavy stuff in the area. Richards, let me have an intercepting course for Hood and Prince of Wales. Yes, sir. Sir, this one's from the Norfolk. Norfolk's there too, sir. She's with Suffolk. They're shadowing in thick fog using radar. I hope that radar works better than usual. If she decided to turn on them, she could blow them both out of the water. No, Lutyens is too clever for that. You'd rather shake off a pair of cruisers than stop to sink them. Course to intercept Bismarck is 310. Oh, that'll bring Hood in contact. Just about there. Just about here, sir. The intercepting course is 310 degrees. At full speed, we should make contact at 0300. I don't want to engage them until daylight. Give me a course and speed to intercept at dawn. Ah, uh, sir. At 27 knots, course 295. We should meet them at first light. We'll proceed on that course at that speed. Aye, aye, sir. Pass the word to Prince of Wales. Aye, aye, sir. You're from Suffolk, sir. Have sighted Hood and Prince of Wales, bearing southeast, distance 15 miles. That means they've made it. Good old Hood, she'll get them. Smoke bearing green 40, sir. Bismarck and cruiser bearing green 40, about 12 miles. Closing fast. Those are not cruisers, they are battleships. Captain, open fire on the leading ship. Target leading ship, stand by to open fire. Target leading ship. Stand by to open fire. Out of port. Open fire when you have the range. Concentrate on Bismarck. Aye, sir. Let me know when you're ready to engage guns, and then we'll turn. Aye, sir. Tell Prince of Wales to open fire when she's in range. Aye, sir. Out of starboard. Shoot! Range 25,000, bearing 300. All carrots ready to open fire, sir. Open fire! 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 That was too close for comfort. Turn 20 degrees to starboard, Captain. Shoot! Fire! Yeoman. Yes, sir. Make the Admiralty from Prince of Wales. Tell them. Tell them the hood has blown up. 
Aye, aye, sir. Thank you, sir. Tower 15. Tower 15, sir.